We're going to get started here. I don't know why. Any other way to introduce this video other than uh, this is Mark DeCarlo reacting to the internet. Mark, you want to say hi? Hello, internet. It's good to see you again, internet. Have you lost weight? You look good. We're going to start off with um, something nice and nice. Okay. I'm excited to see what the internet has to offer. We did get a lot of these from the Discord server. So be ready to be amazed by whatever they had sent. I am continually amazed by the universe. <laughs> he looks like an evil Disney character, like someone from Mary Poppins. And is that is that bl blood coming out of his mouth? Did he is he a vampire? I think he just got punched in the mouth. He's, this is supposed to be an ultra instinct hue from an anime. Yeah, that's a tough hue. He's like fixing his tie. He always likes to look good when he beats somebody up. So he makes sure his tie looks good. Uh, he's got those old timey perch on the end of your nose glasses. Uh, that's a tough, that's not a hue I'd want to meet in an alley. Yeah. He's like a superhero. Pulls his shirt open. And this is the hue you. you would never see on Jimmy Neutron. No. Right. And and he loves pie, but cake is like his kryptonite. So someone tries to give him a piece of birthday cake and it makes him weak and they're able to put him in a, in a cage or something. Yeah, stay away from cake. Pie's the way to go. This wheelchair needs to be pushed to go. Very inconvenient. So, I invented this bicycle wheelchair. The design is very human, no need to be pushed at all. It can not only move forward, and also can reverse. Very easy to use. Uh, well, well, okay, first of all, what's the deal with that hat? Is, it, is it a propeller hat? His hat, he's got uh, all those things. Well, yeah, his hat. Is that to keep away the UFO uh, thoughts from going into his head? I don't know. I did I somehow and did not even, it looks like golf clubs. And secondly, I, I think this guy could have probably benefited from a little market research. My guess is that most people that are in wheelchairs are in wheelchairs because their legs don't work well. So to have a machine that requires pedaling to make you move, uh, maybe he didn't think it through. I don't think he thought it all the way through. Because if you could do that, you could probably walk. <laughs> I used so, to build models when I was a kid. I have never built a lobster battleship before. No? Uh, You're doing it no. Wrong. Yeah, I I uh I like it. That's a, a nice little diorama. No, they were either I either blew them all up with firecrackers or they just kind of uh, got lost in my various moves from being 12 to now. Um that's a very intricate model. I like the exploding. I mean, it's very clever and interesting. Uh it's probably from the future when inanimate objects uh will be able to be infused with organic matter and uh, rule the ocean, clearly. Who would want to tangle with that? I'm not going to say anything about this. Just This is exactly what it looks like. Two hues and a Mario hue? That's Huey. The model. Huey. <laughs> That's funny. Um, models look good. Good animation. You know, I like the shoes. Very comfortable loafer shoes on Hugh. Is he, is, is, uh, Huigi, is he like coming to work on the roof at this place where twin Hughes live? Are they, is that a gun in Huigi's hand? Are they, they're fighting? Or, or are they fixing to go, um, rub out a bad guy? They say a picture is worth a thousand words. This is worth at least 1,100. There's a lot that could be said about this picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're in a villa and they're about to go kill a, yeah, but like plumber, not really a plumber. He's a, he's a hired assassin. He's in waste management. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. That's all it says on his business card. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs>
a marauding group of homicidal Carls. I think he would be too afraid to shoot a gun like that. It would be too loud. Um, I, I like, are they in like a Costco or they're in a, a, a Best Buy with a bunch of it guns? Looks That's... Like they're in a Sears that has not been visited in a couple of years. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Panasonic Blu ray, $99. That's, uh, well, you know, maybe they're going to, they're doing a, uh, uh, a hoist of, uh, or a heist of Blu-ray, 10-year-old technology. Yeah, and n- none of them comedy. look, I mean, I, I was more scared of Huiji, Huiji, than these guys. They don't, they're, they're not inspiring fear, even with a semi-automatic weapon. So the two images I just saw you were screenshots from a game called Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod takes uh, various models and weapons and maps that people have crafted or pulled from old games. Mm-hmm. And they can go on different adventures, all be used in different the same levels. It's multiplayer online, so you can see Carl Weezer, a bottle of Mountain Dew, and Pac-Man in the same level, all with, like, M80s. I think a bottle of Mountain Dew would be more uh, uh, a, a bigger weapon than those guns, because Carl's never going to fire that gun, but I could totally see him shaking up the Mountain Dew and <laughs> spritzing somebody. Oh, I can't see. I got Mountain Dew in my eyes. I know. What are you going to do to me? Nothing. Well done, Gary. Ah, another evil hue. Again, he looks very Victorian. This is um Ap- Japanese anime style uh, hue once again in a different pose and situation. Mm-hmm. I like the uh, Jim Jam Pun. Um, and it, that is clearly a piece of pie, not a piece of cake. I'm going to say pumpkin pie. So it's a seasonal drawing. Uh, but there's something sinister. I think he's slowly poisoning someone by putting something in the pie. Just a little bit. Yeah. Would you like some Maybe pie? It's the it's eyes. Perfectly Maybe he's good luring for him you. in with the eyes. Look, look how like, yeah. sexual. Like the energy. Yeah, the and a very feminine mouth and chin. Maybe this is uh, 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 some sort of transformative Hugh who is slowly poisoning his enemy with pie. This um, this is a bit of a longer video. Um, it's called Garfeldi and how he taught me to love again oh. by Salty DK Dan. He is a YouTuber, oh, Twitch streamer, and. Um, I'll let you I'll let you be amazed by what he has to offer. Oh, I will be. On June 5th of 2021, me and my friends decided that we were going to stream Minecraft together as a group. We had a lot of fun, so much so that we ended up streaming for over 10 hours straight. In that time, we happened upon this single image. You might recognize it as an out-of-context frame from Fairly Odd Parents, but in our exhausted days, we saw it as one of the funniest things we had ever witnessed. What follows are the highlights of us losing our minds over this single image, an event that went on for several hours. This is the tale of the most powerful anime character ever, Garfeldi. I'm just really obsessed. <laughs> Look at him! It looked like he had no that arms, just the legs and a tail. I Jeez, hate I Mondays! <laughs> this is Garfeldi's voice. He's like, I hate Mondays! <laughs> it's me, Garfeldi! <laughs> Fuck you, John! <laughs> I'm Garfeldi, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm coming to your house! <laughs> John, you owe me $35! Garfeldi, I told you, I'll, I'll pay you back! I don't give a shit, man! Give me the fucking money! <laughs> Look at what they did to my boy. Garfeldi was super cool and he was super strong. <laughs> he was so much yeah, yeah. What, what if Garfeldi was super sexy and he had super what big abs? If, and he, what, if he was, <laughs> what if he was like your dream guy, you know? Would you date him? Would you kiss him? Yeah, would you kiss him? Would you date him? <laughs> would you date him? Would you, would you, date him? Would you is, is he real? Mal, what would you do if Garfeldi wanted to introduce you. you to his parents? And then I guess I'd probably go meet his parents. <laughs> what What if his parents were, were uh, two, two slightly Garfeldi. larger Garfeldis? Then I guess that makes sense. 
does know Garfeldi. He knows everything oh, that you do before you do it. I feel like I'm gonna go to bed and Garfeldi's gonna be there instead of my cat. What would you do if Garfeldi was in your bed instead of you? Oh Whoa, what, what would you do if you looked in the mirror and it was Garfeldi? <laughs> uh, here's the sad thing. Whenever you go on one of these laughing jags and you think something is hilarious and then you go back and look at it later on, it's never quite as funny as you thought it was at the moment. And I would imagine after streaming for 10 hours straight, the players were suffering from oxygen deprivation. And uh, it's, like you're, it's like you're in a sub at the bottom of the Marianas Trench. And you, know, you get a little hypoxia and uh, uh, things are hilarious to you. I think Garfeldi is pretty funny. Uh, the funniest line I heard was, look what they did to my boy. Because anything from The Godfather always delights me. Um, he's an imp. Yeah, Garfield, he, uh, he's, he's, a, he's an imp. Um, I, I mean, certainly funnier than the real Garfield. <laughs> which is a low bar to leap. But yeah, definitely funnier than the real Garfield. Garfeldi, I think, should have his own radio show. Where you can't actually see him, but everyone knows what he looks like. It's like mystery. Um, yeah, very funny. This is a funny group of dudes. And it sounded like there was a female in that group. Is that true? But it is. I didn't know that that girls, women, uh, females uh, were allowed to game. I thought it was only dudes. You'd legally. be surprised. Really? Is it? What's, what's the percentage? Uh, per percentage? Honestly? Probably like 30. Yeah. 30? Really? Yeah. I would have guessed five. But I again I don't I don't uh you know I don't stream my gaming, so I don't really I don't really know. This is a this is a video from probably 2017 or 2018 that <laughs> I cut um from a live stream I was doing with one of my friends who was on the phone with me. And my dad was pissed because he told me not to live stream in the house that night. So uh -oh. this is his way to get back at me for doing it. This was live to probably like 100 people. So this is him catching you live streaming when you're not supposed to be live streaming? Kind of. All right. Let's take a look, Joe. Yeah, it, it's I don't just watch cartoons. I watch anime. And I watch What's up, bitches? He likes the penis. <laughs> That's your dad? It's my dad. <laughs> you know what? I think it's great wow. that he takes an interest in the things that you're interested in. I really do. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that's great. I, I that how that doesn't have six million hits. I don't and that's his real face, right? That's not a mask or anything, that's his actual face. <laughs> yeah. Well, Is that a is chicken hat? That is, I don't, when we were little, we had like these snow hats and they're like flames on it and everything. My mom was like, oh, they'll probably like the flames. It's got like little tassels and it's not nice. a chicken hat. It's a good guess. I mean, if I, if he's really going to go for it, you do that without a shirt, right? You come in <laughs> topless with that hat on. That would be, uh, that would be my only note for him when he does it again. My favorite part is then, his beard comes out. Beard from, sticking from out underneath. Match. That's classic. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, you know, bring your dad to school day picture right there. Yeah. And, what, and the, how is that going to keep you warm? The holes for the eyes and the mouth are enormous. They're supposed to be little. So it keeps most of your skin warm. I never He's even noticed that. Holy shit. Those um, are huge. They're too big. He's going to get frostbite. I'm worried about him. Ironically, frostbite with flames on your head. That would be, that's a story. This is a clip from a YouTuber called Drumsy, known for his VR chat videos. And this is him and his crew. They were reacting to some videos using their audio in TikToks. And yeah. I'm a girl on the internet and I deserve money for free. <laughs> I'm hitting the button right now. I'm following, I'm donating. Yeah, you're gonna sub to me. Yeah, you're gonna sub to me. Yeah. My clicking finger hurts, but I can't stop. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. I, I, that's a very prescient um, 
elegant way of explaining 90% of the internet traffic in the world. Uh, well done. Yeah, well done. Is she a race car driver? What, 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 what is that a helmet she's got in her lap there? So in this video, uh, they dressed as their VR car characters. Ah, now it all makes sense. All coming together. It all makes sense now, yes. And they did a good job. They look very much like their people. Not the Shadow Realm. Going to the Gulag, making a social commentary. I like it. This is... Uh... Plus, automatopias. Gulag sounds so not what it really is in real life. It's a horrible detention facility, usually in a frozen tundra. But Gulag sounds like a fun place, doesn't it? If you didn't know what it really meant, ah, I'm going to the Gulag. Oh, really? It sounds like a baby word, like, you know, like they're just babbling. Gulag. I want my Gulag. Yeah. <laughs> I like the I like the militaristic hue with the... Uh, uh, he's, it looks like he's in the DMZ or he's right on the line, the fence separating freedom from tyranny. Jamie's going to the gulag. No. It's a Maybe popular This is probably second to uh, Shadow Realm, actually. Yeah. Shadow Realm, gulag, somewhere else. Oh, my. I'm not even... I'm not even going to say anything. Just let you uh, take it all in. That is, um, yeah, it's, mm. this is like the curious case of Benjamin Button, <laughs> where, where Hugh, Hugh reverts, reverts to, to a weird, weird baby, baby face, face, who, who ironically, ironically still, still needs glasses. glasses. You think the baby's eyes would be good at that age, age, but no. no. And, and I, I think, think this, this is, is like, like he wakes, wakes up, up in the morning, morning for the first time. <laughs> no, this, this, this is the, the first, first time he sees, he sees that he's actually, actually been bald and been regressed, regressed for years. He doesn't even have eyebrows. No, and this is alopecia, Hugh. Mark, what do you think of the memes we saw today? Again, what impresses me is that it's it's animated jazz. Clearly, you're, you're taking characters and worlds and mixing them all together and making new funny stuff out of existing funny stuff. I'm very impressed and uh, uh, just thrilled to be uh, even a, a small micro portion of the Internet lunacy that's currently zipping around. Um, very impressed with uh, this stuff, Joe. You did a good job putting it all together. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video of Mark DeCarlo Reacts to the Internet. We have another episode coming, and more to come, of some of the stuff we've been shooting recently. We shot this first video about uh, probably close to a month ago, and we've been collecting more videos since then. So I hope you enjoy it, and if this does well, we'll keep doing them. Um, there's definitely a second one coming, so be on the lookout for that. Below are Mark's cameo links, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever the hell else he has. And make sure you go follow him and tweet him and tell him how much you love the video and everything he does. Thanks again, Mark, for being on this. And I'll talk to you.